if on the off chance that you are extremely bored and you're still not working due to the pandemic, I would like to recommend a book that I have found on my Audible. I've I told you before, I don't read books because of the ADD. I listen to books and I find it much more effective because I can just go, it can go over and over and over. When I'm cooking in the kitchen, I can play my book. I can listen to it. When I'm doing whatever, I can listen to it. So it's much more beneficial for me. Uh, it, it's, it's much more effective for me, shall we say. So I found this book. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this lady called um, Esther Hicks. Now you will have heard of The Secret. And what a lot of you may not know is all of the thought process and the concepts that come up in The Secret are as a direct result of Esther Hicks speaking to the woman who created the book in the first place. It's all to do with Esther Hicks. And Esther Hicks is a cultural revolutionist, in my opinion. Um, in the 80s, Esther Hicks channeled a, not spirit, but say an energy from another realm, another frequency. If you're talking astrophysics, you're talking frequencies, right? So it's all very scientific. It's not mumbo jumbo like a lot of you think when, it, when I talk about things like Reiki healing and things like that. They're all very scientifically based. I digress. So this book is the teachings of this entity who she is called Abraham. So they're all about Abraham Hicks. And there's one um, book about Abraham Hicks, which I'm reading and listening to at the moment. And it's really the best book that I've ever had in my entire life. If you have time on your hands and you want, you have lots of questions, you have lots of queries about, you know, why do kids get sick? Why this, why that, why the other? And if you have an open mind, I suggest you get any one of Esther and Jerry Hicks books and listen to it or go on YouTube and investigate about the concept of Abraham Hicks. You will be astounded and I would love to hear your feedback if you do go down that road of listening to me and taking my advice on board. If you have lots and lots of questions, just any sort of question really about humankind, this book is answering an awful lot of questions for me. So that's my top and swim worth for the day. I hope you're all having a great day. Listen, this is not forever. This is just a, a, a would you call it a glip or a blip? Well, I'm gonna call it a blip because I can't remember the exact word. This is just a blip in time and it's all for the higher good of us. If you take the time to reflect, how can your life be better? What changes need to be made? You can make dramatic, dramatic, life altering changes. And that's what I'm all about for the last few weeks. That's why I've not been on social media because I'm focusing very much on just being still and allowing myself the time to just chill, relax, and stop putting pressure on myself to be or do something just because I feel like time is kicking on and I should be being or doing something. So I've given myself a break and I suggest you all do the same. Have a great day, I love you all. Mwah.